Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome to Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3D with Robberlink. Hello. You can't see anything yet because that's because I haven't started up the game yet because I don't want it to skip the intro. So yeah, let me start up here real quick. All right, so this is a game I played a very, very long time ago as a kid. The graphics aren't amazing, but I still loved it as a kid. What are you talking about? This quality. <laughs> huh, oh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the uh, the audio is kind of peaking on the recording. Let me change that real quick. Actually, if I change it, it's going to make the screen go black, so we'll just wait for this to end. Yeah, I can't... I, I can't, like, minimize this normally or anything, so... Thankfully, on... On the Steam discussion pages, they mentioned a program called DXWND, which allows me to run this in windowed mode. Hmm. Otherwise, you cannot alt tab, you cannot <laughs> minimize or anything. Uh -huh. And when I tried, I just couldn't do anything. I had to like control alt delete it. And also, if it's in full screen, it will skew it because it's not the correct ratio because it's an older game. Of course. So yeah, I I'm very appreciative of that. So give me one sec to uh, fix the volume. You know, I don't think I've ever actually like really played a game using a joystick. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Like, outside maybe of, like once or twice at like an arcade Yeah, a I'm, few decades ago. I'm trying to remember if there's any other games I really played with a joystick. Maybe there's a couple. There's one called Tachyon the Fringe. I don't know if you've ever played that either. There might have also been a couple of other Star Wars games that I never finished. Hmm. But yes, I have, uh, I think a few years ago I played this again and got 100% completion, and that's the Veto 2 file. Uh, all right. I'm using the joystick to move this now. Because, yeah, that's how I uh, used to play this. Because I mentioned in our... Metroid Prime Federation Force playthrough that the mouse does not work well with this. It has like a weird like a certain amount of movement you have to do just to make the ship turn and it's really weird. Hmm. Alright, give me a sec. I need to stand up and use the keyboard to type in a new name. So, uh, yeah, this... Vito has talked about this game quite a bit. Both, you know, in other videos and in real life. So, it's gonna be interesting for me to finally see what, what he likes so much about it. This is just such a big part of my childhood. Um, there's also a game that is almost identical in how it runs, like the same engine whatnot, that is uh, based on Star Wars Episode One called Battle for Naboo. I don't know if it has a PC version, but I do have the N64 version of that one, so we could play that at some point after this playthrough. I think I did maybe play that one at least once okay this the interface will look exactly the same um also there's a second and third rogue squadron that i've never played because they were nintendo only um even though i had a nintendo i just i guess i never got them but uh yeah let's get into this Take an early morning run over Moss Isley with Wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. Interesting. This does look familiar. Probably because you've shown it to me before. Yeah. <laughs> keep an eye out for suspicious activity. It's like, huh? At Moss Isley? Nah, <laughs> nothing weird ever happens there. All right. Yeah, I can't use any of the other ships on this mission yet, so I might as well not even go to them, but... Each time we get to a new ship, I can have it play like an informational thing. Hold on. The Incom T-65 X-Wing is the fighter that killed the Death Star. An almost perfect balance of speed, maneuverability, and defensive shields makes this the fighter of choice for Rogue Squadron, except when the mission profile disallows it. In addition to four blaster cannons, the X-Wing can carry a number of proton torpedoes. It's powered by four fusel thrust engines, requires an onboard astromech droid for peak performance. Hmm. It requires one for peak performance? Interesting. Well, I mean, they... 
Yeah, they haven't. Don't uh, the astromech droids usually act as like co-pilots? Yeah, I guess. But you'd think it'd be like a built-in system that would have everything you need. Well, no, <laughs> we can't have an AI. They're against the rules. Hmm. Probably. St- I guess not. Now that I think about it, Star Wars doesn't really have any AIs that are like. Yeah, I don't know. It, well, like they're always contained within a mobile body. Hold that thought. Chapter one: The Rebel Opposition. Hold on. Six months have passed since the Battle of Yavin. The Death Star has been destroyed, but the fight for freedom is far from over. Hold on. Paper rustling noises. <laughs> As the war against the Empire rages across the vastness of space, Luke Skywalker, uh, Skywalker forms the legendary Rogue Squadron from the Rebel Alliance's most skilled X-Wing pilots. Uh, where's the next page? I seem to have misplaced it. Ah, here it is. Their mission? To defend the struggling Rebel Alliance against a still-powerful and battle-hardened Imperial foe in a last-ditch effort to control the galaxy. Hmm. Yeah, there is a point later on in the game that felt odd. It felt like it jumped some point ahead in the story or something. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I'm not sure. I'll probably mention it when we get there. All right. So here we go. Moss Eisley, which is... Tatooine. Yeah. Oddly important in the story for a... Sandball. Good morning, Wedge. The rest of Rogue Squadron is still back at base, but I thought we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. Oh, wait a sec. There's supposed to be subtitles for that part. It may be because it's a new file. Maybe it's not there. Luke, I think we've got a problem. Uh, Is that my imagination, or are those Imperial probes going dead ahead? You know what? Hang on. Let me see the settings. (laughs) Technical difficulties. You can turn turn the crosshairs off. (laughs) Your subtitles on. Uh, I don't know if my settings are going to be the way I want them, though. Hold on. Okay, no, they are not. Uh, give me one second to go back to the menu, and I will fix that. Dun 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 dun! Mission failed. You forgot to uh, change your settings. <laughs> Imagine that an actual fighter. <laughs> it's like, all right, tilt stick forward, just nose dives into the ground. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we're back. Yeah, the subtitle should appear here. Good yeah, there they are. Way. But we already saw it. <clears throat> All right. So, Luke, like I, I said, I've. Got a problem. Is that my imagination, or are those Imperial probe droids dead ahead? They're attacking them. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I've already 100%ed this before. I don't feel like tryharding this too much. I just kind of want to enjoy this. So I'm not going to worry about getting the the gold medals or whatnot because like you have to worry about accuracy and time. Hmm. And I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. Whoops. Ah, yes. My favorite uh, firecraft weapon. Ramming. It's time for my most effective aerial maneuver. The bonk. Ow, that actually hurts. Okay, maybe not the bonk. Yeah. (laughs) They're already hurting me quite a bit. This was not expected. Are you used to having, like, upgrades, or...? There might be upgrades. Or just a tougher ship. Could be. Alright, but yeah, this also has the ability to go into this mode, where I'm faster, but I cannot shoot. Also, I think there's, like, secret enemies right around here somewhere. Yeah, here. I think you also have to get a certain amount of kills to get the gold medal. And if you don't find these guys, I don't think you can get enough kills. Huh. But yeah, you can see on the radar... It has, like, that orange thing that kind of points you towards uh, the objective. Hey. Ah. So, yeah, it'll never point you to those enemies. All right. Also, I think there is weapon linking. So, hold on. If I press this button, I now shoot two at once. If I press it again, I do that. 
which is fun. It's... I don't know if it's really that important, but it's a nice detail just to have. It makes it cooler. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Didn't... Oh. Do we, though? <laughs> Sorry, as you were saying? Uh, I can't remember. Did... Didn't Battlezone 2 have that? Where you could, like, link weapons? I think so. I don't know if it did in the base version, but maybe I, in... I feel like it did have, like, settings were in the base version, but it just didn't work. I don't know. There we go. Missile him. Missile him. Nope. Fine. I'll deal with you that way. But yeah, this is the first mission. Nothing too difficult. Just a few bombers. Nope. Didn't get him. There we go. We did it. We saved Moss Isley. Nice work, Rogue Squadron. We might make a name for ourselves after all. I like those, uh, like, civilian cars, just... Or, not cars, but, like... The speeders? Speeders, the thank you. The land speeders, I think they are. Yeah, just casually going about their day, <laughs> as if they weren't just being attacked. All right, I actually wasn't trying that hard, but I still got gold, but it is the first, first mission. mission. Yep. I have been promoted to cadet from, I think, trainee, it said, when I restarted. <laughs> hmm. I thought you were already supposed to be, like, one of the best. Escort valuable rebel supplies through dangerous imperial territory over the humid lands of Barkesh. All right, a short description. And it looks like we still are stuck with just the X-Wing. The good old. Hmm. But it's still good. Old, reliable, I guess. As long as it works. Yep. I guess I'll skip this now. We've seen it. Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. One of our shuttles will rendezvous with a small convoy from local resistance on Barkesh, which must first travel through Imperial territory. They carry equipment and supplies vital to the Rebellion. Your mission is to rendezvous with that convoy and escort it to the landing zone. Good luck. All right. Luke, we've already got trouble. Probe droids, take your targets and go. Oh no, probe droids. I'm so freaking scared. <laughs> This feels a little bit like a uh, defender to me. Probably because that's the only like aircraft based game I've played really growing up. Yeah, maybe. Like, I think we also had Top Gun. Oh yeah, Combat Zones. Yeah. That was a cool game that I intend to play eventually on the channel. Uh, thing is, I, I don't think I was ever good at it. <laughs> I could try it again. I don't know. Alright, so I have to protect all these things. Whenever they decide to actually get a move on. All right, Rogue Group. The supply vehicles have begun moving. Their escort will follow shortly. Oh, good. There might be things. The smaller craft are the combat vehicles. Stick with the five transports. There might be things up ahead that I need to get rid of too, but I also need to make sure nothing bombs them to heck. Hmm. Hey, it's an ATSEO. That's right. I need to be careful not to approach from in front of them, because that can hurt. Huh. They are a little bit tanky, though. There we go. And let me check for enemy aircraft. No, I think we're good. All right, let me see if there's another ATSD over here. Yeah, I think. Oh, there's two. Here, take one of these. I was gonna say, yeah. Uh, you have uh, not photon torpedoes. That's Star Trek. Uh, proton bombs or. I think they might just be called torpedoes, I'm not sure. I think it's proton torpedoes in Star Wars. Yeah, it might and be. And it's photon <laughs> in Star Trek. Something that starts with a P that is a torpedo. Uh, are there bombers or something? Oh. I may have screwed this up. <laughs> well, what were the other, like, four X-Wings doing? Could have at least said something. Yeah, it's a little annoying. I didn't know he was there. I'll take that. Yeah, you can see me, but I'm gonna do that and go. All right. Oh, oh wait, no, those were X-wings. Yeah. I feel like I got very good at knowing when I needed to go and protect them from bombers, but now I'm not sure, so I need to be more careful. I think I already lost at least one transport. Hmm. All right, you're not looking, so I don't need to use a torpedo on you. You good? 
Yeah, you're good. For the moment. What's that noise? Uh, part of the music? I don't know, it sounded like a dong, dong. Yeah, I think that's dong, just dong. Like the orchestral hits or whatever. Uh, also, I was about to warn you that there's an ATSD, but it was just the legs. <laughs> yeah, they uh, stay behind. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Not sure if that's uh, how it's supposed to work, but... You know, I think I actually... Now that I think about it, I think I used to remember exactly which direction to go at what point to intercept the bombers where they spawned off the map. <laughs> Just because you played it that much? Yeah, like, I remember, like, looking at the distance kind of like that and going for it, knowing that there would be enemies there. See? Ah. Yeah, they're not doing a pass yet. But they will be. <laughs> No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, good. All right. Are you clear? No ATSDs at the moment, but oh, those aren't convoys. Those are the the combat vehicles. I don't know why you're there, going through these turrets on your own. That doesn't uh, seem smart. They got a little lost, I think. <laughs> they took a shortcut through enemy territory. They're like, this'll be fine. What? <laughs> we don't have a convoy to escort. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? All right. Like, I want to go over there and see if there's more enemies, but I want to stick close to these guys, too, so no bombers freaking sneak up on me. Or on them, rather. Oh, here's some. Or just one. You seem to be alone. He was with those other two earlier, but he was late. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I heard the call to launch, but I need to use the toilet. Better late than never, right? Look, I'm sorry, I used the bathroom on the left side of the hangar, and my assigned bomber is on all the way on the right side. Aha. Uh -huh. And it's a big hangar. There's some enemies to kill. With the supply vehicle. It's imperative that you stay with the supply vehicle. Commander, this is Riken. Yeah, it's I hear you. you stay with the supply See, vehicle. they're fine. <laughs> Nothing bad has happened. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. The shuttle is clear. She'll pick up the rest of this cargo. The Rebel Alliance will appreciate those supplies, especially after we lost Yavin base. All right. Not that one shuttle's going to carry... Several transports worth of supplies? I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't save all of them and I didn't destroy enough. <laughs> See, you told me to stick with those convoys, but if I had gone a little further and killed a few more people, I would have gotten gold. <laughs> Freaking jerk. <laughs> Race against time to recover the crew and cargo of a downed rebel ship before the Imperials beat you to it. I, I feel like in my memory these descriptions were longer, which is weird. But yes, now we get to use the A-Wing. Ah. One sec, let me press the space bar. The A-Wing is the fastest fighter we have, capable of matching a TIE interceptor in speed. Twin J-77 Event Horizon engines power the craft, and twin blaster cannons provide offensive weaponry. However, what we gain in speed, we lose in defense. The deflector shield capability is significantly less than the X-Wing. So make sure you use your speed to dodge lasers rather than relying on shields. The A-Wing also carries a limited number of missiles. All right, then. So now we're weaker, but faster. I guess that's good for this scouting mission, basically. Hmm. Not my personal style, but all right. It's my only choice at the moment. <laughs> oh, it it won't let you use the X-Wing? Not at this moment. Rogue Squadron, hmm. this is General Riken. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. It was carrying a team of rebel soldiers and stolen Imperial equipment. You must find them before the Imperials do. Me, yeah, I remember this. I'm picking up multiple signals. Ties and coming in fast. Oh, hello. 
Maybe this, your squadron should, like, scramble instead of uh, <laughs> all line up. Yeah, that'd be smart. All right. Okay, it looks like they have, finally. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember the uh, the name Nona sounding cool to me as a kid. Hmm. All right, it's not here. So I think this has, like, three branches to it, and it is randomly selected where it will actually be. Ah. Whee. So let me check the next path. Does this... Does the A-Wing have a boost mode? Uh, no, apparently not. It's just fast on its own. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, Rose. Let's keep the crew out of danger until our shuttle can pick them up. Yeah, the annoying thing is because it's also a little weaker, I think maybe a little weaker damage-wise, dealing with things like ATSDs can be a bit of a problem. Wait, enemy? Oh, you're an enemy. I don't think I can destroy this. Maybe it's possible, but it would take so long, I don't know if it's worth it. But I can increase my accuracy with this. <laughs> Free accuracy! Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me not crash. The A-Wing is not a, a weapon. But it could be. Huh? <laughs> the Nona is reporting that they're under attack. Oh, no, you don't. Do not look at me. <laughs> don't look at me, I'm shy. Oh. Hello. Uh, what is that? <laughs> it's a little tank of some sort. <clears throat> I'm trying, but they keep shooting me, too. Screw you. Thank you. Inbound fighter. That's not a fighter. <laughs> That's a bomber. Get your terminology right. It's kind of important to know what you're dealing with. <laughs> and they call you the best of the best? You can't do... Oh, hey. That is a fighter. Or an interceptor, rather. Alright, you are a big deal because you can drop bombs. Yeah, earlier when it said the A-Wing could match the speed of a TIE Interceptor, I was confused for a moment before I realized, oh, TIE Interceptor, not TIE Fighter. Because <laughs> the TIE Fighters are, uh, yeah, they're actually kind of garbage. <laughs> yeah. Like, genuinely. They're made to be mass-produced, not high quality. <laughs> yeah. Stop that. Stop spamming your weapons. What? Why does it... Why do the AI aircraft, like, they go up and down? They jiggle. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure, but I do remember that. This is not what I meant when I said I want games with jiggle physics. <laughs> oh, hey. No bombs for you. Bad. Okay, good. Yeah, that could make this mission a little difficult, was if you miss them for just too long, it can be easily too late to actually stop them from bombing the thing. Free accuracy! Unfortunately, there's no, like, damage dealt thing. Ah! No. Alright. Okay, good. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's our shuttle. It, just the way it started pointing downwards. <laughs> it's like, whoop, we're a bit top-heavy now. Or front heavy, I meant. Oh, look, a penny down there. <laughs> oh, look at all the pretty waves. Yeah. All right, so I think we have to protect this now. Makes sense. Whoop. <laughs> Despawned. Wait, what? Yeah, there. <laughs> it, it just doesn't render if it's oh. too far off screen. Sometimes. It's kind of finicky. Hello. Stop that. Leave him alone. I am very damaged. I need to be careful here. You're not actually hitting him from that range, are you? Ah. They're hitting you. This is a freaking chain of them. Ugh. Nope. I think I have multiple lives. So I might be good. As soon as I'm allowed to respawn. Yeah. Wait. That 
blue terrain on the ground. Is that supposed to be water? Yeah. Huh. Did you not notice it undulating? Only just now. The shuttle is away. Rogue leader, get your squadron out of there. All right. Well, I died, unfortunately, but I made it. Don't worry, your, your wingman instantly got promoted to take your place, I guess. <laughs> to Ensign. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty good. Got three missions out of the way right from the get-go. So what do you think of it so far? It looks fun. It looks interesting. I probably wouldn't have enjoyed this if, uh, you know, I had the mental capi capacity to operate aircraft. <laughs> uh at however old I was when I saw you play it. Yep. Uh, we don't need to be in settings anymore. <laughs> All right, but that will probably do it for our first episode, so I think we will end this here, uh, here for now, and we will continue this next time. So, dear viewers, goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>